Hi, Tracy here, and I have another layout for you called A Day at American Girl. This is a third layout using the Scraptastic January kit and of my trip with my daughter to the American Girl doll store for her birthday. And let's see. I'm going to go ahead and use that pink... Uh, cardstock for the background and I'm thinking about framing the background or matting it rather but I don't end up doing that so I'm just going through the papers here trying to decide and I end up using that the paper that the pictures are on that is called that is a pink paisley color wash collection and it's called shine And then I use that block paper there called, that's a Studio Calico print shop called Her Swatches. And then I'm going to use a piece of the vellum there. That's from my stash. And then I'm also using these frames and these are from my stash and they are uh, Maggie Holmes I think <laughs> I'm pretty sure they are from the first Maggie Holmes collection and I've had them for a long time I love them and I was pretty much hoarding especially that one on the right the yellow one because I love it and I finally made myself use it I love frames all these different frames I just love them especially the fabric ones and I do tend to hoard them because I love them but you got to use them you just got to do it Lots of noise in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but they're doing work on the house next door. So if I have noise, that's what it is. But And I've probably had it on my previous two layouts because I have did all the recording for these in one morning. And here I am. I'm creating sort of a mat somewhat for the picture under that frame because I didn't like that word paper coming through the studio calico paper underneath so I'm creating because the picture wasn't quite big enough to fit in the frame so it just looked funny to me so I went ahead and put that pink paper behind which is also from the studio or scraptastic kit and it's one that was in my previous layout too both of them actually i use this paper on both of them and that's the echo park head over heels forever and ever paper and here i am starting to work on my cluster there at the bottom right that's a pink paisley ribbon that i had from a long time ago that crepe paper behind the forever or fun frame and I'm going to use that uh, piece at the bottom and then I'm also going to use the piece to the to the right there and here I am I'm going to glue that down and then I look through my frames again to see if there's another frame that works because <laughs> I love that yellow frame and I wanted to hoard it some more but I it's just the perfect frame for the layout so I just had to use it which is so silly because I'm thrilled that I did use it because it looks so cute <coughs> excuse me but it's one of those things 
that that particular frame I just really love it and so I wanted to be sure and then I go ahead and I'm gluing stuff down and I am going to end up sewing on this layout as well so I end up ha sewing over a lot of layers but my sewing machine does it and here I'm trying to use that best day die cut and I seriously think about using it but I don't end up using it that's also from the Scraptastic January kit still trying to use that <coughs> excuse me and here's that crepe paper tissue kind of material that I'm going to use but not in that spot there I I do end up using it with the fun frame and I do use it up at the top left cluster I thought about doing it right there but For some reason I don't, which I don't recall what my thinking was on that, but here I am bringing in the sewing machine because I'm going to sew all around. And now you can see that I sewed, I sewed crepe paper up at the top left and I sewed crepe paper and this ribbon down at the bottom. That polka dot ribbon came Oh, I just don't even remember. I got a gift or something at some point, and it had that ribbon on it, and I loved it, so I saved it. And it ended up being perfect for this layout. That arrow at the bottom, that is from that Dear Lizzie kit to the right. And now I'm just pulling out different stuff to use in that cluster along with the arrow. Trying to decide, and so I'm going through some stuff that I don't end up using. I did put that camera paper clip with the heart in the middle in between the two pictures it's on the one picture it's that's from the dear lizzie kit or the freckled fawn kit as well when i sewed the crepe paper i just hand gathered it as i went along And then now I'm trying to work on top of it. And I was seeing, did I want something other than that bow? But I went with the bow. That was already tied just like that. Because it had been tied around something. Some gift that I got or something. I, I don't remember where I got that. And here I am again just playing with a bunch of different stuff until I find just the right thing. And here I I use this Aline's tacky glue to glue that down that bow and then I clean up with my brush there I like to use that little paintbrush to clean up glue I reserve it it's I only ever use it for the glue now to wipe it away and here I finally find these little hearts these these wood veneer hearts came from the freckled fawn kit on one side they have little expressions and and they look like the little sweetheart um, Valentine candies but I use the other side without the expression and then I put an enamel dot on each heart and then I 
put the one enamel dot there on that frame on one of the little triangles and I put enamel dots there at the bottom too on the fun frame and then that little heart sticker that says love that came from the freckled fawn kit as well and then these hearts I glued them so that they're resting on the layers and so they I didn't need to use puffy dots to get them to sort of um, stick up because the way I glued them to the layers the layers make them <clears throat> raise up so that was kind of perfect <coughs> excuse me and then here I am working on my title which is a day at American Girl and I'm using those thickers came in the Scraptastic January kit and they're perfect of course <laughs> Because these papers came from the kit too. Uh, and those stickers are American Crafts Print Shop and they are pink. And then I use those gray square letters that those came in a set of a bunch of different sheets. Oh, and I I apologize I cannot recall can't recall the line or brand or anything right now. I have a bunch of, bunch of them and a bunch of different colors, and these are like a dark gray. So here I am putting down the title and the the way all the everything lines up. I, I didn't feel like I needed anything under the title. The the way it lined up with the top there worked out perfect. So I didn't feel like I needed to anchor it underneath. And there's my close-ups. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.